So Windows 10 is telling you your computer is not compatible with Windows 11 because you're missing the TPM module, the Trusted Platform Module. Well, almost every CPU made by Intel and AMD for the last several years has TPM built into it. So you might just have to turn a setting on in your BIOS to get Windows 11 compatibility. Let me show you. So you may have run into a possible roadblock when you're trying to upgrade your Windows 10 machine to Windows 11. So if I go into settings and go to update and security, you'll see right here it says this PC does not currently meet the minimum system requirements to run Windows 11, get PC health check, and that will tell us why. Well, if I click on this link right here, it will bring me to the Microsoft web website to, for Windows 11, and if I go to the right place, I can go right here and say download PC Health Check app, and make sure you get it from Microsoft so you're not picking up some sort of Trojan horse. But anyway, I've already downloaded this program, so let me go right here to the setup program that I've downloaded and install it on my computer. I accept these terms, install, uh, yeah, sure, add a shortcut to the desktop, and it's going to run it. Well, now that I run it, I need to come up here to this button and say, check now to see if we're compatible. And it says, we're not compatible because I do not have TPM 2.0 on this machine, the Trusted Platform Module 2.0. If I say, see all results, you will see that the computer does support secure boot. I have a supported processor, which is a 10th generation at least Intel CPU, and I've got at least four gigabytes of RAM. So I believe you've got to have a second generation AMD processor or a 10th generation Intel processor or greater. Now, here's the thing. The AMD processors and the 10th generation Intel processors or later have TPM built into the CPU. I just have to enable it in the BIOS. So I think I can get to the compatibility I need to be able to install Windows 11 on this computer without having to edit the registry or do any of the workarounds to make it not check for the requirements. So I'll bring you back when I boot into the BIOS. All right, I'm pressing delete to get into the BIOS of this ASUS motherboard and I come up in easy mode. Well, easy mode tells me all kinds of wonderful things. It shows me my CPU model. It shows me my memory sticks, what slots they're in. It shows me my boot devices, my CPU temperature, my fan speeds. This ain't going to let me look for a menu option to enable the TPM features of my CPU. But if I come down here to advanced mode on this ASUS BIOS, I could either click on this or I can press function key F7. Well, I'm a keyboard guy. I'm going to press F7. Now, literally, what you have to do is go through this stuff menu by menu to see if you can find a sub-menu that allows you to enable TPM, the firmware TPM of my CPU. And I did that. I had to go through every single menu, and eventually I discovered that this menu right here on this particular motherboard, PCH-FW configuration, is where I need to go. And you see down here the tooltip for that menu says configure management engine technology parameters. If I go into it, bingo, TPM device selection. Enable discrete TPM. It's looking for me to have a TPM card plugged into this motherboard. But if I hit the drop down and say enable firmware, it's going to tell me it's going to use the Intel TPM that's part of uh, my CPU. Now, I've got to save my settings for the BIOS, so I'm going to come over to the exit menu and say save changes and reset and go back to Windows and we'll check our PC health check again and see if we are compatible. Let's see. Okie dokie. I'll bring you back when I'm in Windows. All right, I'm back in Windows. Let's run PC health check and say once again, check now to see if we're compatible. And it says we do meet the requirements for Windows 11. See results. So now, since I turned on the firmware CPU support of TPN in the BIOS, I fully meet the specifications for installing Windows 11 on this computer. So that is a way you may very well be able to reach the compatibility you need to install Windows 11 
on your wonderful computer. So let's jump into the BIOS of this motherboard. Now this is an AMD Threadripper motherboard. This motherboard has a socket STR4. It's an ASUS, so I'm pressing delete to jump into the BIOS. And then we're gonna have to go to advanced mode. Come on, baby, you can jump into the BIOS. There we are, and you can see advanced mode down here is F7, but I'm not gonna use the stinking mouse. I'm gonna use the keyboard, so I'm gonna hit F7. And once I'm on the advanced menu, I'm gonna go to advanced, and there it is right there, AMD FTPM configuration. If I come in here, you see it's disabled. This is the TPM features of the CPU. I'm going to enable that and come to exit and say save changes and reset. So now this motherboard will have TPM 2.0, which it needs to support Windows 11. All right, so yet another motherboard. Let's look to see how we turn on the TPM support that's built into the CPU. This is an AMD AM4 motherboard. I'm gonna to go to advanced, and you may have to look around from menu to menu, but on this one I can go to CPU configuration, and there it is, AMD FTPM switch. And I can enable it, and then I can come over to exit and say save changes and exit. Now this motherboard, this computer will have TPM support needed to install Windows 11. And save changes and exit. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and hit that bell so you can see future videos. And I do thank you. Take care.